Hey planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. Today we are unboxing the cloth and paper um, aesthetic box, which this is the October 2022 box. I'm pretty excited about um, this box for a number of reasons. I already know what's inside of it. I haven't like seen the items of course because I unboxed with you all but I did watch the sneaks and um there are a few things that I am just like this is all day me um so there is a blanket inside which a throw um that is huge and um they had it on a couple of cloth and paper lives and it was like enough to cover two people um, candle and they just keep talking about the scent so if the scent is what it is um, there's bubble bath if the scent is what it is um, I probably will order another box so that's where we're at and I may give some things away as gift but I may keep them all for myself because you have to treat yourself you have to treat yourself this is why we have a self-care fund this year 22 in 2022 is our self-care fund to treat ourselves so I don't even feel bad about it there's also a body cream I wasn't super excited about that but that just goes with the whole candle bath body cream throw read a good book have a cup of tea aesthetic so I'm here for it so let's jump into this box First things first, um, because it's in a, it was in a separate, there's a whole nother box <clears throat> because it's so huge, um, is the throw blanket. It is from Sunday Citizen and, um, I'm interested in getting some like really nice bedding. I've been looking, I was looking at like bowl and branch sheets and, um, so I may check out this company because this blanket is so super soft it doesn't look like much of anything it's it's just like a basic gray it seems like it's like really tightly knit together I don't know how it will wash but it feels so good um something you just want to wrap yourself in it is um a pretty good degree of thickness and it is large. Fun fact about me and y'all's um, nephew, Petey, we fight over blankets. This little dude will steal a blanket. I mean, he will scrunch it up and move it to a corner to get it away from you. He's always been that way. And it's starting to get a little colder here. So um, last night was the first night he was back under the covers. He likes to sleep under the covers when it's cold. So it says machine wash cold, um, tumble dry on medium, 100% polyester microfiber. Um, so it, it'll be interesting to see how it washes. But it just, it's so beautifully done. It just has this. Sunday afternoon curl up with a good book feel to it that um, I'm looking forward to enjoying so that is the Sunday Citizen blanket and they've got a picture here with um, a girl in a robe so I want to check that out as well because that just looks super comfy um, but they are at They've got bedding, throws, pillows, loungewear, and more. I don't see a web address on here, but there is a QR code. Um, so we'll, we'll figure out where we can find them at online. Let me look one other place. Um, it's sundaycitizen.co. Also, I like to share with you the Estite box is $149. It's a quarterly box. And so the value of the throw is $98. That's the retail cost. It's my understanding that it is not available anymore. They are all sold out. Um, but it says cozy up with their year-round favorite throw made with one single layer of their soft-to-touch snug fabric. Perfect for those warmer months and for those that who run hot oversized for maximum comfort and delicious snuggling so that is the throw blanket let me 
put it away. And um, they have this little card included in here. Um, we hope you love how it feels and the feel, the love that we put into making it. And you can follow them at sunday.citizen. Um, it says, warning, may cause difficulty waking up in the morning and is not liable if naps last longer than intended. Um, and I guess their return policy, I'm sure because it's part of the estate box, this would not apply if there was a problem. I'd reach out to Cloth and Paper. But it looks like they have a 90-day return policy, which is pretty... Um, standard and generous. All right, so here is our box of other goodies. And we are just going to jump into what is in here. All right, so first things first, we have a set of Cups. I think it's Le Cube. Um, set of two. They're stackable teacups, eight and a half ounces with a silicone sleeve to offer heat protection and ensure a good grip. The stackable cups are a perfect addition to your daily relaxation ritual. They have a retail cost of $22. Um, are so they have like this little band around them which um, the other nice thing about that because they are glass is that if you drop it my understanding is like it will land on that rubber and not shatter um so and then you know if you've got something hot of course you're holding it here and not burning your hand so T cup set of two retail cost $22 um, let's see. is there any other information they don't have any other information about them but it says Le Q. I think I'm saying that right on the end so those are cute I always say I'm gonna drink tea I have a endless supply of tea I love tea but I am not into hot drinks right now and I don't actually like iced tea. Go figure. I never have. Okay, here is the candle. So this is the um, Estite by Cloth and Paper scented candle. It is called Basilica. A warm celestial scent reminiscent of the rich wood, stained glass, and ornate trimmings that embrace the basilicas in Florence, Italy. It has a retail cost of $50. So this is a cloth and paper candle. The other option would be to um, just wait and see if they release these things um, outside of the steep box, but then I'm taking my chances. And it smells so good got a wooden wick um so fragrant soy candle vanilla winter spice oak it smells amazing I thought it would be a little bit bigger I thought it was going to be a light lot bigger and it doesn't say here but Ashley had shared the burn time and I um, she said, like, if you burn it no more than four hours at a time, it has, like, an 80-hour burn time. It does say it on here. So, 80-hour um, burn time, um, and you can, like, hear the crackling of the, the wooden wick. It also, once done, um, you can reuse the glass container, you know, to hold pins or some other object. Um, I'm, I think of stationary when I think of holding things. It's got a nice, really heavy weight to it, um, and it smells delicious. So that is the Basilica candle. Um, has to me more of a vanilla than any other scent, but not a straight vanilla scent. Next, we have these tea drops, and um, these are, it's tea, 
They're bagless whole leaf teas that shed about 15% less water than traditional tea bags. Um, it's an innovative tea experience that merge flavorful bins, food, fa flavorful blends, food, art, and innovation. In their ultimate sampler, you have the benefit of sampling the nine best-selling tea drops in one beautifully wooden gift box. Retail cost is $16. You can find them at myteadrop.com. So um, you add your tea drop, you add boiling water, two to four ounces for ice and eight to 12 for hot, and then stir and enjoy. So let's see what these look like. They're organic, lightly sweetened ground leaf teas that are pressed into fun shapes and they melt in water like a bath bomb. That's cute. I like that idea. So we have um, English breakfast and hibiscus glow, matcha green tea, strawberry matcha green tea, looking like Hello Kitty there. It's a Hello Kitty collab. Um, citrus ginger. I would love to try that. It's just like one of my favorites. It's like anything with a citrus and ginger. Lemon. Love it. Sweet peppermint. Aloha pineapple chamomile. And rose earl gray. So I am looking forward to trying these and trying them in my little teacups, which... The teacups are, let's see, what's the size? It doesn't say. Let's see. It says here. Eight and a half ounces is the size. Oh, like, they look so much smaller than that, but they are an eight and a half ounce size. Got so. Right. so that is the tea drops, cute little wooden storage. <clears throat> Next we have the Ellis Brooklyn. So I did not do the very first Estee box, and I believe there was an Ellis um, fragrance included. And this is eight and a half, eight point five two ounces featuring fifty milligrams of full spectrum CBD derived from hemp. Non psychoactive, feel marvelous, treat yourself. This extra rich body cream features the power duo of maritime pine and full spectrum CBD. Um, it just says do not use on face. Um, not intended for use by children's store in a cool dry place and out of direct sunlight. So, let's see. Body cream. Marvelously aromatic, soothing and moisturizing body cream. Features a powerful skin smoothing duo, full spectrum CBD, and French maritime pine bark extract when paired with complementary essential oils and rich shea butter. They make a divine sensory experience. This is an Allure Best of Beauty Award winner. Retail cost is $125. I believe they sell this brand at Sephora, which is more of your luxury cosmetic and beauty items. And, um, like I said, the Estee box is 149 so you've got this $98 blanket, this $50 candle, and this $125 body cream. That's more than the cost of the box right there. So, it's really thick. Nothing is coming out of there. It's a nice, thick cream. It has, um... That, that maritime pine bark scent. 
Um, I can't quite place it. It has a little bit of a, a spa feel to it in the scent. Um, I can't. Maybe like bergamot is what I'm thinking it reminds me of. It smells really good. Very thick and heavy. My skin is like trash right now as far as like dryness um, as our weather starts to change. So I need all the help I can get. Um, let's see if it says on here that it has bergamot because that's what I'm picking up. got rosemary, citrus, um, oh, I don't see it, but, um, I like it. It smells delicious as well. It kind of, um, complements the, the candle also. So that is that. Next, you get a set of Estite Matchsticks. Um, to go with the candle, there's 14 matches, um, and so it just slides out like that. Nice little wooden matchstick. So those can be stored with the candle. There's where you strike it. Um, there is no dollar value on those. So next we have the Milk and Cookies Bar. This is from Norman Love Confections. Handcrafted chocolate from Florida since 2001. Emphasis on artistry, premium ingredients, and innovative flavor combinations. Renowned chocolatier has earned significant national and international acclaim for his edible masterpieces. So this is a chocolate bar with um, milk chocolate and crumbly mini cookies. Retail cost is $5. Let me see if I can open this without opening it. I love how everything is packaged so that like the food is well protected and from everything else. So Norman Love Confections and Milk and cookies bar. I'm not a big chocolate fan, but I'm a sucker for some cookies. So that is, I like milk chocolate though. That is so cute. So you've got this chocolate bar with these two little cookies on it. And it's probably delightful. And I will probably eat it all in one sitting. So that is our milk and cookies bar. I see more of these in my future. All right. And let's see, we have I think one more item. There's a total of eight things in the box. So our last thing is oh, there's a, little, this is a flyer for Norman Love Confections. Look at those chocolates. So, if you're interested, normanloveconfections.com. Okay, so our last thing is our bubble bath, Margaret Elena bubble bath. Silky suds, treat yourself to a tub of bubbles and soak in bliss, rich in replenishing cocoa butter and pampering, skin pampering green tea, a special blend of soothing ginger and lemongrass melts away worries with lavish moisturizers that envelop your body in exceptional softness. Retail $44. Um, so I didn't add it up, but I believe the box is over $300. So let me just tell you, if I get another box, which is looking real good, I'm not seeing what I'm going to give away. I'm back to still treating myself. I was like, oh, I can give something as a gift. I might give the extra blanket away. Um, but yeah, now it's not looking good. I don't need two blankets, but... <laughs> yeah, 
I don't know. I don't know. I gave blankets like two, three years ago as gifts. Not Sherpas for a bunch of people. like a cork. It smells really good. Okay, so I just, I'm here for all things vanilla. I forgot how much I like vanilla. So this is Library of Flowers American Small Batch Perfumery True Vanilla Bubble Bath Bottled by Margaret Elena. And, um, I, you know what I love about this? I used to have, um, a really awesome deep sunken tub. And there were, for lack of a better term, these ledges where you could put really pretty things like this. It was just really aesthetically pleasing. Um, and this would look beautiful there. I just have a regular old bathtub now and it's just like, this is so out of place there. It just is not made for that. But it's definitely made to be enjoyed um, until we have a beautiful bath tub again one day. So um, that is the box. You've got your Margaret Elena bubble bath, vanilla, true vanilla. Your Norman Love milk and cookies bar. Your matchsticks. Your Ellis Brooklyn CBD Rich Body Cream. Your Tea Drops, which there are nine of their best-selling teas. We have our Le Q Cozy Tea Cups. And the... A steep by cloth and paper basilica candle. So that is the cloth and paper October Estite box. Let me know what your favorite thing is. I forgot to mention again. Um, and you also have the throw blanket. Let me know what your favorite thing is. I am pleased with every item this time. I'm, I'm just, I think this is a fantastic box. Um, I cannot pick just one thing. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm most, ex I'm excited about using a combination of things, like not all at the same time, but like simultaneously at, at for the same all together. So like, you know, enjoying a Nice hot bath with the bubble bath, with the candle burning, um, afterwards using the, the cream, um, fixing myself a cup of tea, lighting the candle, just like the whole experience is what I'm looking forward to. So I think that these things all go together very nicely and um, there isn't one thing that I love more than any other, but the smell of this candle is pretty darn amazing, so. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in trying cloth and paper out and you're new to cloth and paper, I do have a link posted um, down below and you can check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.